Yim, and you're tuning into Cool Story Bro. This podcast is brought to you by Show Skate, a one-stop shop for all things related to skate. Link in the description below. Welcome back to an episode of Cool Story Bro. Today, I have a very special guest, a very good friend, Mr. Okay. Clockwork. Obviously, he's wearing a mask and I'm not because we're sitting across each other, so it's better if one of us, you know. Yeah, I try, I try to be more anonymous as much as I could. <laughs> so I thought he's wearing it because he wants to be clean, you know, but apparently it's because he don't want to reveal so much of his face. Lah. And you go to Tunwe's one also, you... No. Uh, exclusive. <laughs> wow, why like that one? No, I'm just wow. kidding. <laughs> hey, bro, you... Last time you go way back with us on ma, why you like suddenly not exclusive on? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding on me. Oh, a bit sad okay. now lah. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, it's not... Um, well, this MCO have been... A really good time for to do self reflect about myself mm. and self re evaluation. <laughs> re evaluation, ah. Uh. Okay, okay. Okay, so maybe before we go into the other stuff, lah, we introduce people to you know introduce to people. Hey, we start already. Why is it start already, bro? Oh, okay, okay. I, hey, bro. I thought it's a it's a warm up <laughs> session. Hey, we go warm up, bro. We start already, but we okay. keep it casual, lah. You know. Okay. So, uh, to those who don't know who Clockwork is. You actually can see a lot of his work around KL, PJ, especially Federal Highway la, and Pudu. La. I think there's a lot of his work. Anytime you see the word cloak, it's yeah. usually this man here. La. Okay. So why why I do cloak actually is a five meaning. It's a very good meaning like caring, loving, optimistic, ambitious, and kind. This, yeah. is, <laughs> you, this is the value you need in every person to make the world a better place. Hey, I thought that, <laughs> that the whole CLOK thing is because of the pr- Prada. What is it not because of Prada? That's why you. No, I already, I already think way before that. Prada oh. is a creating, a eh, creative lettering, uh, of all kind. Oh, so this is your <laughs> before before Prada one lah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so you know MCO now. Obviously, you cannot go your spreadication. Cannot go out. Yeah, sadly, man. Yeah, man. So, what have you done in the past two months since MCO? What have you done? Any sort of graffiti work? Um, no. But a lot of graffiti have been postponed or cancelled. But yeah, during this moment, I try to do something like, okay, room cleaning mm. and throw away uh, like all the old shoe boxes. And yeah, and also do like practicing illustration. Yeah, mm. luckily I got myself a, an iPad mm. Pro and a Apple, Apple Pencil mm. a few months before the MCO. Yeah, so I can yeah, try on. So now, like, I mean, especially now, do you is your job as a graffiti artist affected? Isn't like your client jobs are like all affected like, because of this? Yeah, like, especially like because a lot of graffiti have to like you have to entering the office, mm. spray paint or some live painting. Yeah, mm. if there is no the event is cancelled, the graffiti as well. How so? How you start off as a graffiti artist? Like, what was the beginning? Like, how suddenly? Like, you know, one day you wake up. I want to be. Or to spray paint, uh, you know? Yeah, one day I wake up and feel like, ah, uh, this life is more than just a student life, you know? Like, go, go, to, the, go to college, come back, work on assignment, mm. and hand, hand over and take the mark. It's like, feel like very boring and very sian, yeah. And I just, I just like, when I was young, I really like, very rebel. Like, I want to do something like, destruct- destructive mm. or get my name out there, you know, like I want to be bold. Mm. And then when I pass by, like every day I use, I use the LRT to the, to my college. It passed by a Pasasani, yeah. And mm. I'm impressed by the graffiti, the color done by local artists and overseas artists. And then I tell myself, okay, uh, this is it. This is what I want. Mm. Yeah. And then I try first time and then it was like very kanjiong. And then second time, third time, oh, Oh, this is the field I want until now. But you learn to graffiti from friends or you YouTube or you how you how you learn to because last time when I go out you uh, then I see you spray ma. So mm. I take the spray, I spray uh, but you know different from let's say you draw one line. Mm. But my line I draw very very ugly, but your line very fine. Yeah, you like know how pra- you learn all this. You know practice enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you start you just literally just go out. You just go out and do. Oh uh, Back then, well, uh, it's the spray can for a student mm. is very expensive. Like back then, it was yeah. seven seven ringgit per can. Yeah. Mm. So every every um, how to say it? Every can la. Yeah. Every can, the amount of leftover is very important. Like very variable. You mm-hmm. know. 
and I try not to waste it. So before we before I paint, I will like okay, go YouTube, learn the basic like first okay to make sure use the right nozzle mm. to make sure I didn't like overspend the spray yep. or whatever. Yeah, and then after learn finish already, I try to buy the color as less as possible with my own saving money. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, do it basically do it. Yeah, back then it was. I think Instagram haven't existed yeah. yet and post it on Facebook and then okay then the like-minded friend and then we contact each other and yeah and then we plan some graffiti jam mm. then we learn from each other like that yeah like so okay <laughs> like which loser is the best which how to make a letter mm. how to do the graffiti what's the step yeah yep. so then when you start off lah. So you usually, how do you decide like, okay, I want to go here today or you just go out your friends and you're just fine lah. Okay, this one is uh, back then, right? Mm. When I was like less confident about myself, about my artwork, I will go to the riverside, like... Cannot like, see one lah. Yeah, cannot see one like gelate or mm. pasta seni where no public can see one to, to practice my graffiti. Mm. Like, um, I think for about one or two years before, I get the confidence to, okay, it's time to um, graffiti on the street and see what's the feedback, what's the result. Mm. Yeah. It's also a breakthrough. Uh, like I have to tell myself, okay, uh, I can always stay like this, like a stray rat mm. already. I have to <laughs> go up, up and then and eat some cheese already. <laughs> <laughs> but then you, uh, let's, like, you always go out and spray because most of the f- famous places that people like to go are like Bangsa, yeah. you know, like Pudu, your spray is a place that if let's say somebody else spray over your work, then how? How would you feel as a graffiti artist? If let's say another graffiti artist you don't know one, you go and spray. Mm, if okay, if if I don't know one, depend on uh, who okay, uh, then let me imagine this situation. Okay, so let's say okay. for example, uh, you are let's say Kenji right? Okay. He's a graffiti artist, right? Mm. So you two not friends one. Okay. You don't know each other. So he spray over your work, like he cover your work with his work. And then he put his signature there, right? Then let's say next time you go back and see. Oi. But I know here the thing is, okay, I imagine, <laughs> okay, somebody, la, okay, it's, uh, okay, I do imagine, okay, this, this new kid mm. come and paint. Mm. If he can paint it better than the previous one, then, okay, it's okay. Yeah, I can accept it. But if he just come and then just something like feel I and blah, 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 and then mm. go and then go away, then it's, of course, not respect, la, mm. right? If he can cover like, Okay, a fully a fully piece then it's okay, it's mm. alright, yeah. Because I we have to still encourage the youngster to upcoming give them a yeah. chance, right? But is it is everyone thinking like that or not? That's the question. Um or- not really, unfortunately, yeah. Mm. There is still always a space for unity in graffiti scene. Mm. Still basically you're saying that it's not as united as it should be, lah. Yeah. I think in every field also. Yeah. Because when I see, I think about last time I, I only know you. Mm. You're the first graffiti artist I know. Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. So I don't know, I really don't know. But I've seen since like long time ago mm. already. I always drive to work. I always see Cloak. In my mind, I'm like thinking like, wow, this Cloak fella, I don't know who lah. Mm. In my mind, I thought, you know, graffiti artists usually like rebels or uh, gangster uh, or oh. something. Like. I really don't know one. Because I, I know from here one. So Where are you from? Sabah. Oh, wow, so far away. Yeah, man. Go graffiti in Sabah, right? never. Uh, welcome to the... Um, Sin City. You <laughs> think <laughs> about Las Vegas? Uh. <laughs> but really, last time, because last time I see, uh, I really don't know like all these people who, because some graffiti you see really bad shit one. Mm. People draw dicks uh, or like write bad words. Uh. Yeah, they are the, maybe they are the, okay, they just want experience uh, spray can. Mm. Yeah, and in their mind, they don't have a specific uh, image what to draw. So, okay, every day they make, they shower, they naked, they see their dick and then they, they paint their dick. Well. <laughs> no, but then you, you got, when you start graffiti, like you start yeah. doing graffiti, like you got anyone that you already know that you're like, okay, I like this guy. I'm going to try and like, you know, learn the way he do it. Got or not? Or like you got, just... Got, I got, try like, local one, I got a lot. Actually, like Bone, mm. Kos, mm. Bongs, Kenji, Phobia, Carpet, Whoa, and the list. Carpet some more. So on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a cool name, huh? Yeah, a lot of cool name from dictionary. But all of you, when you go out in graffiti, right? You cover face, on Depend. We we cover, we cover our nose and mouth, lah. Yeah, that's because of the yeah film, from the la. film mm. from the dust. Yeah, nowadays I don't think we need to cover. Um, 
Yeah, we just do it. So if let's say now you started what year? Two thousand two thousand nine or ten? Ah, two thousand nine or ten. Yeah. Let's say nine in the nineties, lah. Mm. Do you think if you are the same as today, you think you will, will you be able to live the same way? Do you think it's the same? If let's say from twenty years ago you start, mm-hmm. you start in the nineties compared to today, you think as a graffiti artist back then can make money or not? Because now um, very different already, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh. Okay, compare from. I started in 90 or today mm. it's huge different mm. firstly is the social media mm. helps a lot already like my friend said um, nowadays you don't have to go out and paint mm. and then you every corner of the world can see your work yep. yeah you can you can spray the um, the mirror the wall again and again and again and yeah oh that's true and, yeah, yeah that's and true, put that's on true. the social yeah, media yeah, yeah, yeah. but back then the, we don't have social media like like at once as today mm. and then we have to find a place to paint there and here to get our work out there yep. yeah now it's just and the spray can is technically is a better already and more color range yes yep. all right but i mean last time when you started you spent a lot of money on the paint expensive right so yep. now okay last time <laughs> seven degrees is expensive yeah of course of course now the range important one uh, i think 25 already yeah 28 for imported but how much cans you use though let's say Against lab office lah, mm. like that one. You use how many cans? Just for that wall, like that. Maybe fifteen. Yeah, each color palette is each can. One can each yeah. lah. Wow. So you have to plan all the time when you go. Yeah. But you aga aga know how much you need already, one Um, we can freestyle sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your favorite work? Like, have you done anything that you all over the place lah? Mm. Which is your like one of the most that you love the most one? Wow, I think I love most of it because every every pieces I paint is um I plan I plan carefully and yeah. Different and spend a lot of time to making it uh beside beside those spontaneous pieces that I freestyle. Mm. So you got trouble with the law before, right? Obviously. Yeah, like <laughs> I think January or February when I painted one of the pillars at the station LRT. University. Station? Uh, oh, in, in PJ? Uh, 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 LRT University Station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in PJ. PJ yeah. Uh. The time I was like, okay, I was always passed by this federal road, right? Mm. And then I saw this word F-U-C-K and nobody covered it. Mm. And then got one night, me and my friend, and then drove there and then to cover some, um, we cannot say beautiful because it's a very subjective. So we yep. plan, uh, we paint like, one graffiti and then suddenly the undercover cop came beside and then um, hold our hand and then I was like wow we're going to get into trouble <laughs> and then we have to go to the police station and lodge report blah 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 and then go to lock up like for 20, 20 hours already mm. yeah mm. We got, and then thankfully my f- my f- partner mm. uh, got that got yeah help us bail us out <laughs> yeah so, what? Sean, your partner, Sean? Ah? No, 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 no. Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> How much is that? You're going to summon. Okay, and then after that, I thought our case is dismissed already. Mm. And I think one, two months later, and then the police called, okay, hey, yo, you have to go to the court. And then I was like, oh, I'm very ganjiong. Uh. Like, oh, what happened? And then my partner is in Thailand already. Mm. And then I was like, okay, 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 can, can, can. Uh, because I want to settle it as soon as possible, yeah. yeah. And then we go to the court and then blah, blah, blah. And then read the charges. Okay, lah. Talk, 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 talk. Say this is a charity thing to beautiful the city. Mm. Like, we want, we want to cover the dirty word so that KL stays clean. Yeah. yeah. And no, um, stays more colorful. And then people use the federal highway, can slow down a bit and then less traffic. <laughs> traffic accident blah 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 yeah we say like that then the oh just okay lah 300 ringgit oh okay yeah. Oh. yeah what is, what is that the most expensive you can have before mm, I think it's uh, not expensive I, I only gonna one only this yeah. is the first time yeah. mm. I never pay bright one I'm a good citizen so this is the first <laughs> time you get caught la. yeah so last time you do so many you really never I think got one time is the I think when I first started I think got caught before and then it w- I was under it, so it just like okay. Whatever lah. Yeah, just write. Ah, so how old when you start? Oh? I think nineteen. 
19 or 20. Then you, you know how old? 25. 28. Eh, 29 already this eh, year. You're 91? Uh? Yeah. Hey, wow, same same oh, hey, yeah. very nice, very nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Siri, lock up. <laughs> <laughs> why will Siri lock up? <laughs> When's your birthday? Everyone have to experience why this once is a lifetime. It won't even get your um, record bad one. Don't worry. Oh no, it won't leave a leave a record on your yeah, it just It's, it's like just basically a, a car summon like that. Yeah, 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 exactly like mm. car summon. Wow, but you have to go to court, so much fun. It's a it's a brand new experience. But the yeah. judge is nice la. It's not like straight away taro you kaka or that. No, but uh my my case is a very, very, very small one that nobody wants to bother one. Oh. Yeah, like okay. See beside us one the all the other charges is like okay Judy ah uh, those mm. kind of like small small one kind of tank up Judy haram ah uh, this by number <laughs> or thing like actually nobody really want to care one yeah, yeah they sum out also like two hundred one hundred mm. so you have to go and just pay or find this child yeah you know? okay it's but like it's like okay well mostly peop- uh police when they pass by or DPK they pass by like they don't care one mm. but this one is the got people lodge complaint yeah. So they have to take the responsibility. So they have to do it, yeah. Okay, they okay, have okay. to submit the report. They the they police, uh, they say, if they see, they also don't want to care one. Yeah, you it's just like waste time, and yeah. that. Yeah. Mm, understand. But okay, la, I mean, it makes sense, uh, If you're if you're graffitiing something that is like bad, la, you mm. know, dicks are uh, bad language and shit like that, right? Obviously, you should be fine mm. because you're basically not doing anything good, Because people mm. have to, at least you all do the work is nice, lah. But. As I say, yeah. Subjective lah, subjective. Yeah, it's subjective. Yeah. Some people like it, some people don't like it, some people understand, some people don't understand. No, but at least it, it, yeah. it's, it's an art lah, you know. It's not mm. like I see also, it's, I can straight say it's ugly. But yeah. even if it's, I say it's ugly, at least it's, they're still planning lah, you know. It's not just that like I take a spray can and go spray mm. anyone. Yeah, like, okay, like, for imagine, okay, I got gift, like, I, I like graffiti mm. and, okay, if I see something like very ugly, like got a long poster or a long stencil, like massage or hanky panky <laughs> massage, this kind, okay, <laughs> I risk my own like um, own safety or whatever reason to make the place beautiful, less run down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It put it there already. Y- you enjoy it, then you keep it. If you don't like it, then you cover it. And then it's as simple as that. It's not like something you cannot uh, reverse. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of people don't know this. Lah, right? I don't know if a lot of people know. No. You are actually a co-owner of Against Lab. A lot of people know or not. Lah. I don't um, know. Not a lot of people know, right? I also didn't know until like, like yeah, of, I think because yeah. usually I just see Sean most of the time anyway, mm. but a lot of people don't know lah. So how how did you all end up you know end up together and starting against that? I know against that started in 2015, but I I kind of forgot how we started already. Like one one day Sean like okay okay I don't want to do it CNLM or something that I want to start a brand called mm. again, and then I was like huh again why? Then he explained to me yeah it's like a it's like a uh, gain, like gain something. Then I think like, uh, hmm. not really cool. Eh. I think like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's <Asian> not cool. <laughs> then I suggest, why not uh, against more like cool, more like rebel, like, mm. you know, like rebel spirit, like feel like against the norm, something yeah. like that. Then think, 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 think. Okay, lah, we go against. Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. So you, now. What, what, when you started, you were already part of the design process. La. Yeah. Mm. When I started, it's like, we are against direction is very different from my graffiti. La. Mm, mm, mm. For example, graffiti is kind of like funky, colorful, and again, it's kind of like graphic design, thing, yeah. layout thing, experimenting. Mm. Yeah. It's a lot, of, a lot different. And kind of like balance these two. Yeah. I, I master the balance at the beginning year mm. few year and then like for the past few year i said i want to more focus on my graffiti career more mm. against i can like um give some suggestion feedback or design some simple thing yeah mm. i mean is is that kind of style your kind of style like do you fuck with that kind of style yeah i like, you like i it, like huh? this kind of style but it consumes a lot of time mm. of my a lot of time yeah i mean because on the normal day you know, actually i asked this guy to mm. come on my podcast for like Oh man, since 2019 or uh, late 2018. I think late 2019. Wait, uh, wait, God, so la, I ask you a lot of times. Eh. Last time you come to the office, I always ask you. Eh. Which office? Old office is it? Old, old office and new also, also ask. Have... New also go ask. What? Last but year, but eh. old office also don't have room for podcast. But, but, yeah, okay, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. But, but, but that time you always go outside. Ma. 
Yeah. Uh, but that time like, you, we moved here like November, December last year. Ma. Then I go ask you also. Uh, for ask you Chinese New Year, you come here pisang all we do for you also. I ask yeah, you. I haven't prepared at that time. That time don't have a uh, coronavirus yet, so I cannot <sighs> wear masks. <laughs> Wow, you go to two ways podcast can can no way mask or uh, bias or this one. <laughs> hey, like that one, <laughs> <me>. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Then you last time um for my before I came to Masters mm. like back then you used to work for showroom, right? Yeah, showroom, hundred percent. To see KL, all same one lah. Ah, basically yeah. you're the designer lah, right? Uh. So you did, then you I know remember you started a brand called Alama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Start, started with Matthew. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it was where I learned about silk screening, producing T-shirt, mm. yeah, from the start to the end, mm. yeah. So everything you all silk screen yourself, ah? Yeah. All meaning not you don't the fine manufacturer, so no, you all we, we, ju- we just order basically we just order the T-shirt, ah. plain T-shirt, and yeah, and just that's it. take design. Sandiri yeah, do, ah. you Sandiri do design. Sandiri do the f- silk screen frame. Wow. So did you use the uh, water jet gun to clean it to whatever? <laughs> and Sandiri, like Sandiri, do the su- yeah, so uh. screen thing and mm. Sandiri dry the t-shirt, <laughs> and then packaging and folding and then screen so screen the label yeah mm. t-shirt label. How 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 was the experience like? I mean, well, it was tiring. I don't want. I I will never go again. Go back again. Yeah, to do that. Yeah, it was a. Uh, Good experience. I mean, you get to learn. Yeah, la, right. you get to learn yeah, I get to more insight about how to produce a t shirt. Yeah. When the apocalypse comes, I know how to make t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> now, MCO, are you. <laughs> hey, I just now went to a Gates office, ma. So you're all doing this. Uh, well, basically, you're uh, graffitiing on the t shirts, right? Yeah. Uh, so, what was that? What's that about? Like, uh, actually, I, when I saw my. When I saw the one graffiti artist uh, named Remio, yeah, he like spray paint on t shirt, like one, one of. One one of a kind, mm. and then I feel like, oh yeah, not bad actually. Like spray paint on T-shirt, like it's kind of like unique, yeah. And everybody can wear your design. Then okay lah, why not? And then yeah, we I just done it. Yeah, it's pretty fast. You do it quite fast also. It it took a lot of time to plan the. Ah, sketch. okay, the design yeah. lah. Yeah, yeah the really design. had a lot of time designing. Yeah. yeah. But how I also don't know how you use the spray. It's a nozzle lah that makes yeah. it very thin lah. You yeah. just change the nozzle yeah. yeah, just change the nozzle. So nozzle you can reuse one lah. Can. Oh. Can use until it got blocked. Oh, so yeah. it will get blocked one lah. Yeah, it will block and throw away. <laughs> and one nozzle is not, not cheap, cheap you know. Mm. Two ringgit one, you know. Imagine you buy <laughs> ten and then five block is like for <laughs> ten ringgit operated. <laughs> but one nozzle can use how long? If you use every, let's say you consistent lah. It's not like use how long or if like sometimes you spray spray and then the spray can you, you never shake well and then got a, still got solid particle inside mm. when you spray and then it's stuck already in the nose. So right. it's before you can use already. It's Cannot destroy, clean it. Yeah. Cannot like, you know, dip in like some sort of cleaning thing. God, but when you're live painting or you're or on no the time job, la. yeah, we got mm. this time and when you like do a piece there, you, you wouldn't want to spend like a time to clean your nozzle, like fix your nozzle because we, our graffiti mostly involved in outdoor and then sometimes you clean finish already rain already how <laughs> <laughs> hey but yeah, have you ever experienced you graffiti halfway right then suddenly bah, man. a lot of time yeah that's the only thing we then cannot how? predict it. if let's say because I mean okay, obviously it's, it's not as bad as painting right because yeah. spray is immediate yeah right? immediate like 5 mm. minutes and dry mm. already and oil based mm. so it wouldn't affect uh, that much as well if rain suddenly comes yeah rain or shine Still have to finish it. <laughs> so what you say, where where they got you? So uh, <laughs> depend on the spot, <laughs> like, actually. Yeah. Okay, so a lot. Of, okay, uh, this guy when he said two ringgit is expensive, right? Uh, let me just give you a rough idea of what, how as a graffiti artist, how successful he is, lah. So a lot of graffiti artists back, at least the graffiti artists when you think about it, right? You don't think of them like where you can earn, you know, five figures. You can mm. earn like hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, right? Right? Because last time we would like graffiti artists won't get opportunities like this mm. one, man. Actually, l- last time. Art is underappreciated. Mm, la, I yeah. Think, People, yeah. I mean, like, like you said, la, social media help, la, mm-hmm. really help. La. So then you got a, I think what's your first, big, your first bigger job was with Asia, right? Was uh, that your no, big? no. I think before Asia is the uh, Crazy Rich Asian. Eh, that's before Asia. Yeah. So long. Uh, but the movie came out quite late. Eh? 2018, right? The movie came out. Yeah. I have spray paint to 2017, I think around May. How, how they come find you? Wow, I forgot already. I, okay, wait. Okay. 
Wait lah, I have to recall my memory a bit. Okay, okay, I okay. I remember like one day then I received one email like okay yeah this is the crazy rich Asian art director mm. yeah email me and then he say oh we are filming crazy rich Asian in Malaysia uh do you want to have a meeting and then we see what we can work it out and I was like. Hey, what is Crazy Rich Asian? Then I Google. Oh, oh, it's quite pretty famous, uh, book. book uh, yeah. yeah, and then we went to the meeting, and then I asked him, "Yeah, how out of curiosity, how do you find me?" Then he say, "Yeah, we ha- we have been established the uh, an mobile office in Kuala Lumpur, and then we see your work around, and then we Google your name, and oh, then yeah, found it." Oh damn! Mm. See, power of social media is good, man. Social media is a good thing. Uh. But uh, hard working also have yeah, to. Of yeah, course, of if course. If you don't have If you don't hard working enough to get your work up there, like the opportunity is very hardly land on you, lah. Mm. Yeah. So when they first approach you, lah, do you ever think like, oh shit, is this a scam, ah? Yeah, yeah. I was think, thought, I, right? I was think, yeah. When when they first approach me, I do a lot of research. Hey, is this a scam? I have to Google. A crazy rich Asian. Oh, start filming already or not? <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. <laughs> so in the end, you go, you meet the guy is Malaysian or not? Is age like white guy, ah? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh. Ang Mo, yeah. Ang Mo, uh. The director is Ang Mo, yeah. But, so how, but a lot of Malaysia working in the production. Mm, where, where did you graffiti that thing? Uh, MAEP, the parking lot there. MAEP, ah? Uh? Putrajaya, yeah. No, eh? Seri Kembangan. Seri Kembangan, ah? Uh? MAEP, ah, uh, the out of speed, ah. Uh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, there, ah? Uh? That's where they shot that, that scene, ah? Uh? Yeah. Your, my scene is a uh, park. Uh, party, ma. Uh, yeah, it's party, bachelor party. Mm. That happened in the container ship there. Mm. And then, They have to find a space that's big enough, and then don't have, cannot see the skyscraper around. Oh, yeah. So, so Sri Kambai is nice space because it's far away. Don't have mm. all the high rise building, and then clear sky, and then they can build the yeah. So basically, it's to cheat Singa- like in Singapore, like in Singapore, like that lah. Right? Is it lah? Uh? No, to cheat as in the in the container ship. Oh, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Wow. Oh. So that experience, how was it like? like? After after doing that lah, mm. did it help you you know boost your your portfolio better or like get you more jobs elsewhere? Yeah, it it definitely helped lah. Like yeah, involved in a big project like mm. Hollywood thing. A lot of people see my work. Uh, even it appear like maybe five second the scene five second only mm. yeah. But, but it's crazy you know for five but seconds. It gave me a like a uh, more confident lah. You mm. know, people believe in your work lah. Yeah. So then after that. It was Asia. Also got a lot of um, a lot of other medium, jobs. Medium, ah. yeah. The what like have you worked with brands before? Yeah, a lot. Like what brand you are asking? I don't know what is your favorite. Like what maybe what is the most recent brand you work with? Wow, recent one. Aside from Pisang lah, which is the condom lah. Ah, a ship, ship. a tourist ship, tourist ship. Yeah, like the cruise ship. Yeah, cruise ship. The party one, eh? Uh, it can do party also. Big, yeah, big enough. Then you graphic. but but in Kaohsiung, in Taiwan. Yeah, in Taiwan. Wow. And during this, uh, my friend get me this project, mm. and then, yeah, it was beginning of this year that okay before MCO and everything happened, and I've done sketches already and approved everything already, and then MCO, unfortunately MCO started and then I cannot I couldn't go abroad. So basically, it's not finished yet, lah. Yeah, my friend helped me finish it. Oh. Yeah, shout out to my friend Homi. What's his name? Say lah. Oh, name Bamboo. Were. Bamboo. Yeah. Thank you, Bamboo, for finishing <laughs> Cloak's work. Yeah. <laughs> so he he organized the project. He he's also an artist also. Mm. Yeah. So okay lah. I trust him. He finished it. So yeah, the outcome is what yeah. you want it to be as well lah. Yeah. Exactly. So are you a very anal kind of person when it comes to design? Yeah, I have a very um how how to say a very. High, high expectation, boundary, yeah. High expectation, high boundary. I, mm. I really want to make sure that everything like okay goes in smooth way, go in my way, mm. yeah. And then okay lah, I think he matched my way. <laughs> But <laughs> 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 what if he don't match your way though? Uh, that way, it, it very hard like if like that also cannot reverse already. The ship got a certain period that you have to finish and then have to. Put it back to the sea already. Because also, they will chow on lah. Yeah, they will chow, and then other ship have to go come and then do some paint job and then some cleaning, some uh, uh, reparation. Yeah. 
Damn man. But the kind of ship is for what? It's basically cruise ship lah. Yeah, the holiday ship. kind of day. Yeah. Is your graffiti what the side of the ship? Yeah, both side of the ship. So it's your graffiti. Like you literally color the entire thing. Yeah. Huh? It's my design. End up it's my design. I mean it's your design yeah. but somebody else paint lah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I really want to experience the uh, blood, sweat, and tears. Is it? <laughs> because even last time I remember you, I talked to you before when you did the Asia one, right? Yeah. Because the Asia building is very big, ma. Uh-huh. And then you do it alone. Yeah. So that itself, you said you told me like you have to use projector. Yes. And then you have to climb like you know crazy high to just paint the entire thing. Wow. Okay. Okay. That experience also is the okay. This is the first time I produce that as a. Uh, producer to my own <laughs> book la. like okay I have to plan from from the meeting yeah. to the end okay I have to like go there and then rent a scaffolding like a machine enough. no scaffolding only to put the projector in different level climb oh. up and down and then project the you cannot okay since big mirror you have to um, separate uh, part by part to project mm. and outline Wow, very tiring. Even but in my head, I imagine also the projector. You, so. you have to go to the paint shop and then order the paint and then send to the Asia HQ to um, store first. And then, yeah, wow, man. How you want to, the projector, meaning if let's say the thing is like this, uh, so you have to project here, then here, then here. Right? Wow, actually, okay, this big, right, I have to project like up, down, up, down, up, down, like I think got maybe 10, or twelve part. So you use one projector. Only. Yeah, finish already and then you continue. Move. Yeah, imagine you have to do alone. Like you have to outline finish already, but at night outline finish already, and then go down and then adjust the projector <laughs> and then go up again, <laughs> and then move. Wow. But why? Why you never get anyone to help you? Why you do it alone? Wow. Back then I was like, okay, I think I can. I can handle. You thought you? I mean, you. you yeah, can like You yeah, did it lah. Yeah, I can handle, and then it, I want to feel like. Uh, how tiring how um, how tiring is for a person to handle from A to Z mm. yeah alone mm. what was it what was the verdict so that in that in the whole outcome lah, what was it do, do you, if you had someone to help you do you think it would be easier yeah it will be faster but um, also because it's a what it's a parking lot so have a one level even if two oh, person also so help not mm. much yeah you have to stay on the crane yeah yeah one person and two person is the same on the mm. crane yeah you you cannot like two <laughs> two, two yeah oh, but it's crazy man and yeah I f- after that I feel like okay like, I learn a lot and but you if you I I realize a lot of graffiti artists don't have like students right oh. usually they don't have students right God God like assistant lah some oh. some big skill actually need assistant want to fasten the job yeah but usually you ask your, your graffiti friends ah, like if they yeah. say you got a job in Taiwan you just get your Taiwan friends to help you I will try to involve the graffiti if, yeah the process progress is very important one but like such thing like I cannot go to travel and then I have to complete in within this amount of time so mm. no choice I have to yeah ask my friend for help mm. if not I will fly there and then complete myself yeah, of course, I need an assistant to help me fill in, to help me prepare some color, this kind of thing. Mm. So you have you have you had any like you teach anyone before or not? Like anybody that is close to you that you can say is your student like that, or your assistant? La? Yeah, God. Malaysian? Yeah, Malaysian. Who? Juno one. Juno, yeah. the one last time Commerce got come the one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I paint with him mm. yeah, in the early age. Mm. Yeah, in so he's like your so your friend and assistant like that lah. Not assistant lah, more like friend lah. Yeah, mm. with, with but you help you, you basically teach him a lot lah. Yeah, I, I, I teach him like, okay lah, go, go paint this. Yeah, don't scare, you just go paint only. Basically when you start out like that yeah, lah. like wear vest, you know. Even though it looks ugly, but it as long as it get the job done, just wear it lah. I mean, because a lot of the times as a graffiti artist, people know the, the work, but don't know the face lah. Mm. Right. So I guess it makes sense. Uh. I mean, the whole vest is to make sure that the cops don't catch up you only, right? Make sure it looks legit. Yeah. yeah. Like a contractor, a contractor like that. Yeah, uh. look like contractor. Like that. You can paint whatever you want and then just go. But that time you cannot caught, you didn't wear me? Yeah, I didn't wear. That's the only time I didn't wear. So, you know, cloaks advice to all graffiti artists or who want to be a graffiti artist, wear, buy a reflective vest. Like. Yeah, actually, we were drunk. When you go and do the one, you're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> you drink me? God, yeah. See, we... last time I asked you to drink, you don't drink also. When? The time you came to the office, I said our office got a lot of beer. You never drink also. 
the time I think you're working ma. After that time you go gamble here some more. Poker, poker way can drink, drink already lose money. That time you win money, right? End up losing. We never Judy here one. Yeah. The time, yeah, I was we were celebrating something, yeah, and then it was very spontaneously one. Before that, my friend already warned me. Yeah, don't paint that. Mm. And then we were drunk, okay. And then okay lah, just do it lah. But you always bring your spray can with you, me. Yeah, we got some leftover in our cap in our car. We we don't know like sometimes we go to meeting and then we don't know. Okay, we end up this ulu ulu place. Okay, there's luckily there's a wall. Okay lah, just do something here. And then chill out the environment and then give something back to the people and the community. <laughs> Uh, you next level, like, <laughs> really next level. Like, excuses he can come up with, like, I get caught. Like, it's really yeah. power. Like. Yeah, spread the spread the art. What it's not wrong. What we need we need more art and then more colorful for this city for to cheer up the people. You know, every every day we see like bad news. Like okay, every day okay you turn up news. How many good news compared to bad news? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, do something just positive. Worldwide, worldwide totally, just bad news almost every day, man. Yeah, we just try to make it possible. So even for you lah, like now, like when you first get a job off, like a, somebody offer you a job lah to do to mm. to commission to do work ah, do you feel like as a graffiti artist you prefer to do that kind of work or you still prefer to go out and find a wall to go and paint? This is a yeah, of course, commission commission job is Better very la, important lah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because we have to. To sustain our hobby, mm. it's like give and take, yeah. Mm. Okay, we also need money to survive and then to buy spray paint to to paint on the street, mm. yeah. It's kind of like balance, balance, lah. But which do you prefer? I still prefer paint on the street. Yeah, it's like freestyle. Totally, it's your idea, it's your execution, whatever you paint. Yeah, as long as you like it, yeah, it's there. Like nobody control you. Like yeah, I want this to be bigger. I want this team. Yeah, you can paint any team you want. So if, let's say uh, if a client asks you to do something la, yeah. how long is the process like to design to until like the feedback everything? Well, depend on the scale of the project. Sometimes it can be take like six months, one six? month. Six? Oh wait, if it's a big wall like yeah. Asia, it could be long la. That one is one year. Whoa. Yeah. So you took a year to design la. Not took a year to design. Actually design is like maybe a few weeks only mm. to maybe to get approval from La, certain of uh, layers of yeah. their site la. yeah damn man one feedback. year one year but also a big company big mural what? but usually they have, but their feedback usually will affect you, you know, like to the point where you feel like oh, yeah, this is kind of work, not I, something I don't like to do it's kind of like you have to adjust yourself la, to make yourself happy and then please the client as well yeah it's kind of like a very hard one you have to okay, have to satisfy myself and then the Please, your client, if you don't feel like very happy in your zone, the design, and then you paint also, you don't have the mm. feel, and then every day seems like a very hard to get up and yeah. then to continue. Because you know? this is your passion, ma, right? Yeah. So, do you reject jobs or not? If let's say, let's say I'm your client, I mm. ask you to paint my office, then you give me the design, I say, no, I don't like. Then so, if I, I tell you to change, uh, change to a point where it's not even like clockwork anymore, will you still do it? Um, or will you say like you know I don't want to do it yeah. unfortunately your direction is um, different from me but if you if you really insist this style maybe I can suggest a, um, an artist that is the, going to this style and that is better at it yeah to get your job done oh, yeah, so you're why not greedy not? Oh. So basically, you're yeah. very nice to your to your circle of uh, graffiti friends, ah. Yeah, if Damn. like let's say if you if you are French, you cannot cook a uh, chak kuih tiao. You, you don't cook chak kuih tiao. <laughs> you recommend a Chinese chef to cook chak kuih tiao for, I think for the friend uh, not in a restaurant, of course. Yeah. But you think the community in Malaysia, like, the graffiti community, like you think is it is it getting bigger? It's getting the same actually. Still not. There's not a lot of people. Uh. Yeah, like maybe one one or two each year or maybe zero or maybe some pain 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 and then no passion already and then mm. quick yeah or maybe some pain 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 and found other passion reading and quick 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 mm. I don't know it always change so you're about 10 years in already yeah Damn. so your passion still power Get, going strong going strong uh. yeah what, create, what, you always travel to like different different countries on, yeah Usually, spacation. Uh, spacation. <laughs> but this spacation is you go to go and jam with your friends or you go because you got work uh, mostly, yeah, 
stay in KL so very sad, right? Just like, just, just, no, just like, uh, Every person get go to holiday like that. I think okay. I think you bought in KL because the wall running out of walls <laughs> to paint already, is it? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I, everybody also get to travel to vacation. It's just like same vacation except like by vacation involve like one or two day just go spray with my friend or uh chill with new circle of friend mm. like visit the artist studio like that to get mm. to know them. Hey, so you travel a lot, so your what is the weirdest country or the most like random country you go to? Completely mm. like you not let's say like China, you know, really like random. Ah, uh, Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. Where is it, Colombia? Not North, North America. South eh? America. South America. Yeah. Damn. Bogota. How, how did you end up there? Eh? Uh okay. I know I know this friend, uh Ladania from Colombia, mm. like two, three years ago when he she was having an art expo exhibition. Yeah, and then we hit it up and then we contact each other. And after that, she invited me to Colombia and then for a graffiti festival. Mm. Yeah, it was in... Oh, in Colombia, there's a graffiti festival there. Yeah, everywhere also have graffiti mm. festival one. And, well, many unfortunate events also happen. Yeah. In Colombia? No, like for transit. Oh, okay, okay. Of okay, course. Okay. Yeah. Okay, first I have to tr- go to the London and then spend a few days there, yeah, to meet my friend. And after that, I have to go to US. Mm. Um and then I didn't know transit need visa one. Yeah, first time I thought huh? like yeah, look, transit. Transit usually don't need one. Right? Yeah, but need. I cannot fly London. I cannot fly to US to Bogota. So I have to. Um, so she have to pay a lot of money for me. From luckily there's a there's a direct flight from London to Bogota. Yeah, mm. and I have to pay like seven k. Ring it. Yeah. The flight. Yeah, the single ticket. So basically, you burn your your, your US flight idea. Yeah. And then when you when, when you go there, right? Okay, you burn first ticket, right? So the return ticket, Colombia from the from Colombia to US to London cannot to, also cannot also shit. Wow! So I have to book manually, yeah, from Bogota London. back to London, and then spend five day there. Since I was there, I don't want to waste it. Yeah, yeah. spend day f- with my friend, graffiti, walk around exhibition, barbecue, and then go oh. back to KL. Damn. Oh. But yeah, like US is a bit messed up. One, like you have to be- get a visa one, even yeah. if you transit earn. Yeah, we don't know. Learn from the how expensive many, mistake. You go alone now, or you got yeah, friends? Yeah, I go alone. Go alone now. Yeah. But how was Colombia? It was very difficult. Yeah, I don't know how Language, to speak. Uh. Espanol. Espanol. Yeah, hola, señor. <laughs> <laughs> so, but your friends there all can speak English. Yeah. Right? Yeah, my friend, luckily, my friend there all can speak English and then got one American friend, yeah, mm. accompany me, like my partner in crime, yeah, accompany me touring around Colombia mm. from different city to different city, yeah, she can speak uh, Spanish and English, yeah, and then we do some touring around So was it, uh, before we de- depart, yeah. Fun, no? Colombia? Yeah, it was very fun. Very different, uh, the culture, right? Super different, yeah, very different. I uh, attend... Um, First, pride, pride walk. Pride walk. Yeah, it was like whoa, mind blowing. You see, you London so got actually London every yeah. summer they do. Yeah, because I didn't get a chance. Yeah, and then this time, yeah, it was like wow, it's quite fun. Yeah, we party from afternoon until midnight. Wow, <laughs> Colombia is a, a land of party. Land of party. Yeah, this their culture is like they want to dance a lot. Uh, yeah, breakfast, lot, drink, uh, afternoon yeah. drink. And then good coffee also there. Mm. Then where else besides Colombia? Mm. Yeah, the furthest is Colombia, and then the next is London already. Hey, no, actually I remember you recent this year you went to Tibet, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I ah, forgot. Tibet already. also. Ah, you forget <laughs> Tibet, bro. It's so recent, eh. You forget already, ah. Tibet, yeah. how? Tibet um, also very hard to go, you know. You know, not everybody can actually, fly in. Eh. Actually, we not get into Tibet. We I think we just nearly Tibet, like surround the border, the Tibet. Yeah, the border mm. only. But Tibet. It's not open for foreigner, tourist, yeah, 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 tourists. Yep. Uh, unless you go with um, like a tour guide. Yeah, like. tour guide. Yeah. Uh, unless you register mm. with tour guide. Yeah, with a loan car. The yeah. car. Basically, cannot, you, yeah. you have to follow the fella already. Yeah, like, you you can go out of the way. Man. Yeah, we were like, uh, I think, um, China friend was asking you. We having this road, tro- road trip once a year. This mm. this year is a go. Last year go Tibet, really Tibet. This year, we just want to go border. 
you want to join us or not? Yeah, we got car sponsors, spray sponsor. Yeah, you just have to buy your own ticket. Damn. And then the hostel, and then some eat man, eating money, and some petrol, and then can go already. Yeah, and then me, Kenji, Nestu, and then Kenre, a videographer, photographer, adventurer. <laughs> yeah. And then we, we just book our ticket and then fly to there and then go from Chengdu. Mm. Yeah, I think got five car. Yeah, and then we spray paint the the road trip, the car sponsor one. Yeah. And then yeah, the whole the whole two weeks just like touring around and then unfortunately we, we cannot drive yeah our mm. license. Yeah. And then we just sit at the back seat like VIP and they enjoy the scenery. For the first few days was quite like fun because the scenery is like yeah, very before, nice. Like, yeah, nice, like uh, Windows mm. XP, you know. Yeah. Wallpaper. Windows <laughs> <laughs> oh, XP. <laughs> yeah, it's really like Windows XP. Like a feel, nice feel. Yeah, feel, uh. like the sky is so blue, so clear. Mm. And then the feel is so green. And then after a few, few days, we, oh, just sleep only. La. <laughs> like VIP. <laughs> like every day, the trip is like five hour road trip. Yeah. Oh, shit. Just to go to one place. Yeah, use. go to one place and then rest and then some eating something and then maybe spray a quick piece and then rest and then go another. Damn. For about 10 days, 11 days. Oh, you were there for 11 days? Uh? Yeah. The road trip was 11 days? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was fun. And then I first time see the experience snow there. Snow? Yeah, snow. We get to the very high a altitude. Mountain, yeah, uh, mountain. Mm. I think about 4,000 Kilometer you above sea level. You got puke or not? What? You got puke or not? Yeah, got. Actually, I got like uh, Sick, what, uh? Ha, uh, altitude, altitude sickness. sickness. Yeah, yeah, like wow, it's what you can. You feel like hangover. Like you didn't drink dizzy, a lot. Yeah, 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 just like dizzy. It's like it's kind of like drunk lah. Actually, a little kind bit. of like uh, demotivate like that mm-hmm. la, Like wow, and then you walk few, f- walk few like few meter, and then you feel like wow, no enough of uh, oxygen. Like, <laughs> But why you go up so high? Uh? Um, to experience the snow, lah. Yeah. Oh. And then some city is really located that high. Oh shit! So yeah. the people staying up there, uh? Yeah. Then. And then and then they say like, okay, wow, they really like football. Mm. And then if they say uh, wow, they really train cow cow already. If they go to, and then if they play football with like some other country, we will lose weight. Well, their lung is like yeah, really lung then big one. Because yeah. you, you up there altitude four thousand feet, you can breathe normal yeah. la. You really come down no feel Yeah, la. it's crazy, man. But I, I'm not surprised. Like, I think usually like if you go that high altitude, you usually puke one. Tunu way they also They go hike the mountain. They know also yeah, yeah. half reach the top. Oh puke puke puke. <laughs> but it's crazy ah. Because uh, we're so used to this air here. Our yeah. air is very high. Uh, then I check back. Our sea level is like sixty eight kilo- meter only yeah. above sea level. It's and like nothing. Are, yeah, it's nothing. Here is very very thin, very long. Yeah. The old is very thin. But it's crazy. Uh. It's a good experience though. Yeah, like I didn't know there was snow up there. But it's cool man. And then got sometimes it's like, and then the road is like. Like one always, yeah, and, and then old those like rocky road ma. And then road. Cause some road is like when when we go back to the city, it was very dark as got snow and some of cannot we, see. We yeah. Cannot see. It's like we have to drive like very slow, and then and then the we have to stay focused and awake, and then yeah, be very careful of the surrounding, mm. and we look at the front. The, what a front window, right? Mm-hmm. It looked like a Star Wars, like Millennial Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, it's like the yeah. space. <laughs> oh, that's smart as well. Huh? Oh, it's crazy, way. But you one year you travel a lot, on right? You one year travel like every time I see you, I should ask you one. Where is your next vacation? I stressful, ma. So here is you <laughs> stress, ah, the US. Yeah. And also, it's good lah to like detox a bit, yeah, to experience. Yeah, we need we need like uh experience a different culture, la. yeah. So it helps in creative way. Mm. But where, like where do you have planned before MCO? Actually are you actually travelling, supposed to travel anyway? Besides Taiwan, la, which you have like. And Shanghai, yeah. And then maybe postpone to next year. Damn. And also I wanna go um Euro trip. Yeah. You been to Europe? Heaven. Heaven. Uh. Yeah, I wanna go to Berlin. Yes, yeah, Berlin. Of be nice, you should go to graffiti the the Berlin Wall. Right? Yeah, Ber- Berlin. I don't know Italy, Austria. I have friends around there. Yeah, I want to pay because a lot of time, right? Like, they visit Malaysia. Mm. Yeah, they visit Malaysia and then spray paint. Then yeah, and then they ask us. They ask go me, la. "Oh, I go lah. Where we can host you? Okay, okay, okay." 
But problem also from here go ex- for them to come here is damn cheap, bro. Yeah, damn cheap. Right, we go there, we have to times five, bro. Yeah. So it's different, bro. That's also, why also okay lah. Yeah, some of them can they yeah, host can you lah. Yeah, I can sit with them lah. Nah, that's good. Also, at least got friends all around the world lah, which is kind of cool, man. Yeah, it's a worldwide language completely. Yeah, so even if you got language barrier, so you just um, this is the talking. Yeah. Lah. Okay, I've got language problem. Bring it to the wall. <laughs> So you you a fan of tattoos? Yeah. You got tattoos, ah? Yeah. A tattoo, but uh, tattoo aurat. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't want to do like here? Uh, okay. Maybe my face is look like very kid, good, like very boy, young. Yeah, 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 good boy. And then suddenly have tattoo, it doesn't match my personality. But do you got such thing or what? Now this, just it, because you got my tattoo. That's my thinking, lah. And then also got tattoo already, very hard life. Police say, hey, I can oh, still say, yeah, student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I spray this graffiti for student assignment only. I just want to take photo and submit my assignment and then I come back next day and to, then to paint back. Paint back. Yeah. If you got tattoo I like that, you look like student, right? you look like a re owned artist. <laughs> 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 no, uh. hey, but actually if you think about it, right? In Malaysia our law uh, for graffiti compared to other countries, actually we hear quite chill, right? Yeah, we hear quite chill. Quite actually, other countries quite quite extreme one, eh, I think. Yeah. Because also it's um other countries is oversaturated already. Too many, yeah. Yeah, like you woke up, you look at the window, already graffiti there. That's and then true, actually. Yeah. On the road. And Malaysia is still fresh, ma. Yeah. yeah. Of course, people are like, oh, okay, something fresh, something colorful. Yeah. So, what is your goal, though? Like, if as a graffiti artist, ah, you have a goal, ah, what is your goal? Like, I want to paint, like, you know, let's say that building, that big ass building, like that. Yeah, I want to make history. I want to paint big building. I want to be able to travel around with. With my graffiti, yeah, I want spray paint. I want I want my work to be seen around the world, yeah. So your goal is to essentially paint in every country, lah. Yeah. Now how many countries you go already? At least like thirty, got lah. No, it's just Asia a lot, lah. Actually, Asia lot, yeah. La. So the next one is Europe, lah. Yeah, what Europe? And then I also want to go US. Yeah. You haven't been US, ah. I haven't. Yeah, but you've done job for US though. That's the thing, right? Yeah, I I want to apply. I tr- I, I try to apply US visa this year. Yeah, I I will. I will. It's quite hard, lah. But I think you should be fine, lah. It's hard, lah. They say, hey, what's the job? No, it, artist. Actually, huh? it's okay, <laughs> like, As long as your, I think it's mainly your income only. They oh. scared you. You say you got no income, right? Then you go there, they scared you don't come back. Oh. Yeah. So if you got income, means okay already. You know income, then problem ah. Is it? They only see income only. Is it? Income is very important. If oh. you're not, if you have no income, they scared you too fake. Like you, yeah, jump, yeah, jump, jump, jump the ship, plane jump ship. If reach there, I throw my passport. Uh, oh. Then I go report Ross all. Don't worry, I still love my country. I love Nasi Lemak. I love Roti John. Like, and the list goes on. <laughs> <laughs> so you, when you go graffiti, what you eat? Uh I try. Okay, before graffiti, I will know during the graffiti time. I don't how have long ah. Time, I don't have the time to uh, rest and then to eat. So the first meal is very important. I try to eat rice, high, high carbohydrate mm-hmm. food, and then try to drink. Yeah, and keep hydrated. And then after that, just maybe five hours straight, straight six hour. Yeah, pain. Then eat. What is the longest again. session? One time, like one time was the longest. I session. try to keep it like. Six hour, five, six hour, yeah. You just stand there and just keep spraying. Uh. Yeah, of course, go go toilet. La. Okay, la. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you I did... don't want kidney stone. Right? <laughs> so you just literally stand there six hours and like just spray. Yeah. Can tahan or not your leg? Can. Okay, because graffiti is my passion. passion. Ma, yeah. So you, Bef- you And when I start passion, graffiti, la. it's really in my zone already. Yeah. I really stay focused. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I've seen you graffiti before. La. Yeah, sometimes I have to like yeah. I I sometimes have to really have to set um uh, alarm or whatever, okay. To make sure to I mind to, you uh. Yeah, to make sure I, I go to toilet la. Mm. Yeah. Oh, still set alarm to go to toilet. So meaning you want to you will rather tahan and spray here. Uh. <laughs> no, it's sometimes you spray, spray, spray. Eh, I I feel like I drink water, then like no water come out, you know. It's I think it's very bad for health la, yeah. also. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's bad. So you Yeah, try to Yeah man. Try to be healthy so that this hobby and this passion can last longer. But you, do you ever thought that you can do this full time? I never thought about that when I was started. Uh? Yeah, mm. it was just like I really like it. I really love it. Yeah. So when you work, work, work in a showroom, then 
basically you 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 already graffiti already by the time. Mm. By that time you still cannot commit to the graffiti full time lah. Yeah. So why part-time. how you suddenly like decide or oh, suddenly you can go full time? Like what have what changed for you that you suddenly can go full time? I think the freelance is uh getting more and then it almost um over than my f- current that time. Take up a lot of your yeah. work time. Mm. And then I was like, okay lah. Decide to uh take a leap of faith, yeah. Just do it and then see how it goes and then yeah from there I was like okay okay why not and then slowly slowly you scared not at the time at the time yeah honestly it's scared yeah and I was like afraid why some someday if not consistent how just to be honest yeah just don't think so much and just do go, what you want yeah, to do lah because like at the end of the day just like your dream only you really can protect it yourself mm-hmm. like nobody will try to protect your dream like hey blah 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 yeah <laughs> you have to like Stay firm to what you believe, lah. Mm. Mm. That's very good, man. So then you, when you, what's your first job? What is the one that get you gave you the confidence, like you know, what? I can quit. I really forgot about what made me quit already, but I remember my first job was a palace shoe. P a l a s palace, the local brand like the what p a palace. Palas, yeah, you heard before, <laughs> no, or not? Or North Star, yeah, back at oh, okay, the okay, secondary yeah, yeah, school, yeah, 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 yeah we all kind of like we cannot afford conver- uh, converse, so we it's buy a the yeah. Version, yeah, 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 I remember. <laughs> yeah, and then I remember that time was uh, three hundred fifty mm, ringgit, mm. and then yeah, we go he they launched a new shoe, and then they just want graffiti at the background, and then yeah, I paint the graffiti, and then they got some b boy dancing, and then some poser. Spray spray that yeah, my face cannot make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like the converse acts like that, lah. Like you spray, then people come and come to the event, it's something like that. Lah. Mm, no, this one is that I paint already and then somebody just there fake fake. Oh, so it. it's not yeah. you. Yeah, it's so not So they me. use your work but yeah. they don't use you. Wow, why like that? Because Maybe they, they got the actor ready already. Wow, yeah. no, not cool la way. Palas. <laughs> What's this? It was like ten years ago, ma. If they know not find you, you do not. Yeah, why not? It's, it's my own work. If you want to find somebody else, maybe they just shake, shake their hand, but they don't know the flow <laughs> going. <laughs> so you, you, what are your, like as you now, mm. aside from, you know, realigning yourself, re, like trying to just understanding yourself better, what else are you doing? Are you upskilling yourself? Are you learning anything new? Mm, learning anything new. Oh. Making illustration. It's drawing lah. Yeah, just consistency is the key lah, I think for now moment. Yeah, okay. You have to you cannot go up painting already. Just keep on creating what. So you just keep busy, but how okay, so the interesting thing about you is right, you you get jobs for, you know, murals, people's office or whatever lah. Mm. Then how you end up getting into, you know, people like condoms like pisang and that. Oh, I saw I saw Pisang and then I was like okay they they uh, I think they asked for uh, who who want to collab or whatever then I say okay hey, I want to try like mm. to put my artwork on different kind of platform different kind of uh, medium yeah and then and then I say hey okay can I and then they say okay yeah and then we go to the office and then meeting and then how, what the direction blah 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 and then yeah. Just like that. Panic. Yeah, yeah wow. making one. So it's super Set. random one, it's not one like Yeah, it was super random one. I just want to because always like paint on the wall is kind of like very sian really, very yeah, every day just wall and wall, mm. another wall again. <laughs> Could work another wall again <laughs> at here, at there. Yeah. I just want to apply my work my artwork to different medium la. Like recently I saw I always jogging at Titi Wangsa. Mm. And hey, you I go pa- jogging on me? Yeah, I got why wow, never show you? I saw one go jogging on eh, together lah. I are nearer ma, Titi Wangsa. Okay, and then I jogging two round one, five km. Sometimes uh. tired, one km. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, no. two point oh. five km okay, la. Okay. Half la, half la. Okay, okay. And I jogging, and then they got a lot, of, uh, a lot of some food truck. Yeah, run by Pachi Pachi one, mm-hmm. and then I really want to try like apply my artwork into their truck. Yeah, because I saw New York, they all like. Overseas, they all like got graffiti on the truck. Mm. And then I asked them, hey, can I paint? And then I Google New York graffiti. Well, I don't have sample yet. Yep. And then I show them, Pachi, then, okay. Oh, they like it, very colorful. And then free one, okay, free one. And then, okay, paint one already. And then 
Yeah, and then the party introduced me to his friend and his friend and his friend. Yeah. So you just paint all their trucks, ah? Yeah. Oh, so they okay with it when you? How do you convince them? Um, I just say okay, your truck is the kind of plane. I I just want to paint something colorful. Yeah, to attract more people mm. and then to make it more young, more urban, more more modern, and then they oh. Usually they're okay with it, yeah. Well, I'm surprised. Huh? So they, you, they, you just literally just tell them that they're okay. You go show them reference or not? Yeah, yeah. Well, First they have to show reference like, after I acquire one sample already that I can do more, yeah. The first one is really hard one, la. yeah. So it's free work? It's a charity work, yeah. Damn. What a nice guy, yeah. Um, yeah, they offer me their canvas, then I offer... Your work, la. Yeah, well, work. Yeah, it's the kind of... Um, we mean situation, uh, yeah. So basically, you 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 want to expand yourself and apply your artwork on different different things, lah. Yeah. So what if you've done car, wall, and recently ship, ship, yeah, condom, ship, yeah, condom, packaging, lah, basically. Yeah, packaging, clothes, clothes, yeah. Got a got. Where? Against that. I mean, aside from against, lah, like other than against, lah. Let me think. I cannot recall, lah. Maybe got, mm. but. But very rarely. Mm. But usually it's for games, lah. Yeah, and then got what shoe ah, uh, this kind of ah, thing, shoe. yeah. So what? And then what? got helmet. Ah, the the charity you did so the helmet, right? Yeah. Mm. So what are you, what other? Hey, actually, ah, uh, you do my motorcycle helmet, lah. Uh. Um, <laughs> helmet is the very hard to spray. <laughs> Why? Because the round, shape uh. is round. So you, you prefer, to just you prefer like, this kind of surface, ah? Yeah, flat, flat uh. surface is the best. Mm. As a horizontal is the best challenge, ma. Uh, wow, this is the. Wow, shit, way high we or this fella. <laughs> this is more like a I don't know, not challenge lah. It's just like just realistically, uh, it's just not nice, not easy lah. Yeah, la. I, I, maybe I can. Uh, okay, it's possible. Mm. Maybe I design like we transfer. Uh, uh no 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 we transfer. Uh, uh, hydro. 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 Transfer there the Oh okay 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 like you dip ah yeah I can mm. design the paper and then put hydro dip mm. and then you put a helmet yeah that's the easier way yeah la. that's the easier way damn <laughs> solution for you no need to but I want your signature no ma. need to so hard use brush then the, the fallout helmet you did ah mm. the one you paint or you spray 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 yeah then but you have to you keep taping different different places ah yeah mafia no little bit mafia only I only Paint the, the eye only. Oh, you kept the thing the same. Yeah. La. How much did that go for in the end? For charity, what I remember it was good for... Wait, wait, wait. I think 2K USD per helmet. My one is the maximum. Two or three or five already, I forgot. Mm. But USD, ah. yeah. How did so, so they, how they find you? So? They also hit you out on Instagram, email you. Yeah, email one. Yeah. You got paid, la, no? Got. Got. Oh, it's a paid job yeah. for charity. So damn wow. Who's this? Uh? This is a uh, complex or hype beast? Hype beast. Hype, hype beast. beast team up with Fall Fall Up mm. Seventy Eight. Bestada lah. Mm. Yeah, Bestada. Mm. Damn man, it's so random. Eh. Yeah, it's it so very well. random. Like one day I woke up. Oh, okay. I'm happy. Uh. Yeah. Like, of course, like happy. obviously, do you think you've already reached your goal already as a graffiti artist? Do you think that oh. you already like, you know, this is the I can already relax and just. You know, accept jobs here and there, go my vacation here and there, or do you want to be even bigger than that? Of course, um, now currently it's a comfortable stage. Of course, mm. I always look for more challenging thing to explore. That's why I asked you give me my helmet. But your helmet is too small. <laughs> too much challenge, not too much challenging, too ma fun. Because I don't pay him, because <laughs> I don't pay him, that's why you don't do. <laughs> no, no, actually. I want uh, not, not my feel yet. Okay. <laughs> you get good at a round ball, you <laughs> tell me. I, I give you my helmet. Even bowling ball, I saw no feeling yet. <laughs> so what do what do you like to spray on the best? Your favorite lah. Wall is still the favorite. Yeah. Okay. Not wall lah. Just flat, flat surfaces, surface lah. Yeah. Flat surface lah. Building wall. Yeah. So in let's say uh, MCO over. What's the first thing you gonna do? Party. Party what? No lah. Just <laughs> chill out with friend first lah. <laughs> Spray, spray. Maybe can, may, can uh, chill up with friend. Maybe ch- when the chilling with friend come up some good idea, and then we can organize the jam, graffiti jam, and mm. then we paint together. What we don't have to rush. Okay, after MC, we have to paint one more. Mm. We can like, it's time to um slow down a bit. Yeah, to recover. 
and then before getting into something serious. How do you feel about this MCO though? Like, do you like it or do you hate it? Um, I mean, it's not a choice, lah. But yeah, it's not a yeah. choice. But what to do? You just have to like um, change your routine, change your schedule, and then fit the um, unfortunate circumstances. Mm. Yeah, like you have to change your plan a bit. Okay, before this, I always uh, to have time to do illustration, digital stuff. Yeah. To revamp my website, I always whenever I have time, I sketch on paper and then paint on the wall and then look for wall to paint, 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 and then the time move very fast mm. and then I didn't enjoy a lot of uh, t- good TV show documentary or whatever that friend recommend me like during the, this MCO I get chance to like slow down a bit like in a of course in a good way yeah. to do some room cleaning uh, organize some stuff okay la, like building building out the foundation again and then to see back the old work and then see how I grow over the time mm. this kind of that like that so is, is it, was it difficult for you to transition to that? Since you always go out, right? You, most of the time, you spend your time outside. Yeah, first, 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 it's like very hard. Like, I feel like, man, very this, uneasy, like, uh. very, like, in the lockup like that, yeah, you know, yeah. and then after a few, few days already, okay, I, I get, I sign up Netflix already, okay. <laughs> oh, I finally got yeah. Netflix <laughs> on. So you're all the one that will have Netflix on. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> but then, okay, like, before, I, then I have, Shaw recommend me, okay la, Money Heist is a watch Money Heist from long time ago already. Yeah. Okay la, watch, okay la, finish like first season to fourth season in uh, I think two weeks. Two weeks you finish? Yeah. Damn. And then watch some uh, Big Mouth, like mm, cartoon, mature animation cartoon, la, yeah, yeah, finish it already and then watch some uh, The Great Hack. Mm. That oh, it is a good, good yeah, documentary. Yeah, yeah, good documentary. Yeah. And yeah, Go read up the Vice News. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Damn. So what is your recommendation from Netflix? What do you recommend people? Mm. One, one, one show. La. What do you recommend? Well, it's a difficult thing. La. What you watched recently? What is good? La? What you watch is what good. What I watched recently. That is good. That you like. I, I, yesterday, I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's a series, right? No. Eh? It's a movie. Oh, Hollywood. We all, we all hey, the famous, famous actors. Nah. Brad Pitt, Leonardo ah, DiCaprio, yeah, yeah, yeah. mm. Margot, Robbie. Uh, yeah. How 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 you read? Um, it was nice. It was nice. You like it? Just uh, like normal, really. I think. Yeah, it was too much already. <laughs> for graffiti artists today, okay. So for those who are learning to be upcoming artists, what would you ask them to do? Since you cannot go out and, and do your painting, ma. So what 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 advice do you have for them? How how can they improve themselves? Meanwhile. Oh, this is a use this good time, good opportunity just to sketch it, sketch as much as you could, building up the um, foundation and learn about your creating, start learning about your own personality and create your own style. Yeah. Yep. Do you think there's a, a problem with like, you know, most, I think any creative work, lah, mm. it's always very hard to find your own style. Yeah, I think uh, in this year, in this era, right, Almost everything is the I think got people done already. It's mm. hard to create something that is hundred percent original. New, new, yeah, right? mm. new. And then maybe you can take some reference from here and there and then yeah, try to infuse your personality and style like into it and then create something um fusion. Yeah. So for you your style, la, your style is very like comical, ma, like very I would say um funky. Funky. Yeah. So illustration, funky. is there any who who inspired you like, or this is something you completely always like? You always like this kind of style. This is something. Uh, this is me. Yeah, this Some, is basically you lah. Yeah. Like. So you never had anyone you see like or you saw a reference or something similar like that. Then I just want to adapt to it or basically you just keep sketching, keep sketching until you find your own sort of style from from all these sketches. Style from time to time will evolve. One mm. yeah, I started like first time I started graffiti is like very. Dark, very, uh, very Ghana style. Yeah. <sighs> then after that, I feel like, eh, my person also not so Ghana. So I, then it, it had to match my personality. Mm-hmm. So okay, I I draw and draw and evolve over the time. Okay, I finally I think okay, mm, this suit me better. So yeah. do you think, uh, as a graffiti artist, they should always portray their personality onto their work? Yeah. Like Nike say, be true to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored by Nike, by the way. 
Yeah, but it's a really good quote, lah. Yeah, just yeah. You, if you if you paint something that you don't like or doesn't make you happy or mm. it doesn't portray yourself, I don't know. It feel like it's hard to yeah. Mm. Like I mean, you you work in a you, yeah. I think for you, you enjoy what you do because you find a style that you enjoy doing, ma. Yeah. Right. If you don't enjoy it, you're probably not gonna do it long. Yeah. True. If like, okay, let's say. Uh, okay, one thing. Uh, you don't like hardcore metal music. One, if you play also, you don't have to feel. Yeah, mm. you, if you play on the stage, people cannot feel the vibe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's true. That's true. So, what is your favorite food? Hainan chicken rice, bakute. Um. Uh, wow. What else? Asam laksa. Asam laksa. Where where you eat your bakute? Fudu. Honestly, I don't have taste. Yeah. So whatever. anyway, bakute also can lah. Yeah, as long as normal one, I don't have taste. As um, uh, if bad one, I can sense, or if good one, I can sense. Yeah. Okay. Then what kind of music you listen to when you spray? You always wear earphone when you spray. No. No way. I don't listen to music. Really? Right? Yeah. yeah. I thought you listen to music. Last time when I see you graffiti, you also you play music unless not your unless your friend play lah. Yeah, my friend play. You see, you don't listen lah. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I just you focus better without without music. Yeah, but but maybe I will try. Yeah, it, it can cheer up the environment. Yeah, not so like grumpy like that. Psst, psst. <laughs> <laughs> but you like the sound, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I because I haven't buy um Bluetooth speaker yet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You know. If I got Bluetooth speaker already, and then yeah, maybe I will try it. Yeah. <laughs> so but also very hard lah. You play music and then attract a lot of attention. Actually. No. Then your phone battery die out fast. Oh, that's true. So, but also a lot of noise. Then later the police see you pissing. Ah, they go check check. Uh, Actually, see. police don't care. What I, yeah, I la, yeah, police is the usually you drive by. They they stay a bit and then they go or they walk by and then they stop and then they give thumb up and then they go. Yeah, it was last time I remember the uh, police come and you last time you make a security guard help you paint night. Is it ah? Uh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the guy just like jaga the tempat. They just come. You just teach him how to paint. Oh, I ask you. I, I ask you. Oh, okay, can you help me? Uh, do the fill in. Okay, okay, no problem. Because I, I, I help him call, grab for his friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't mind? It's for, for fun only, yeah, la. just for fun, la. But remember last time also you told me like I forgot where idea. The police got uh, basically the police sit down and watch you all do one. Got la. Can't remember I, who told I me this. Got, but. I don't know. Forgot already. Can't remember, but I don't remember last time uh, one. Police and DPKR experience that, but all is good one. Except one, two is bad. Mm. But they will ask Russia and shit. Like, no, no, no they will never they ask Russia one. Either they, either they ask you go, or they just don't care, mm. or they just like it, just mm. treat. All positive one. But you most of the time, it's just that one time when you can. Yeah. yeah. It's like, wow, the percentage is like, very, very, low. very low. Actually, in Malaysia, it's very low la, compared yeah. to other countries. But when you go out, when you travel, la, you ever can anything or not? No, I tried because travel is very important to um, connect with a f- local friend first, mm. yeah, to understand the situation. Yeah. So you don't go out alone, la, basically. Yeah. You gotta do it, just go with someone who has done it. La. Mm. And get some advice. Is it okay to paint here and there? What's the rule in your country if you mm. get caught? Yeah. So you ever, have you ever joined any sort of like competition or? You know, stuff like that for graffiti. Yeah, like back in early early stage. When you started, uh. Yeah, when I started, I feel like wow, the money is a very attract. It's hard because yeah. at that time it's very hard to get paid, right? Yeah, true. And then yeah, got got um competition graffiti by the government. Oh, in Malaysia. Yeah. What? Like DPKL or Taman Bon Tanika or some youth. Mostly it's the youth, youth event. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And after that, I feel like, oh, it's kind of like the art is um, not appreciated mm. enough. It, mm. It's just paint on the plywood and then end of the day, they just destroy it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I just put some effort on the street. It may it last longer and then more people to see get, and then to appreciate. Hey, yeah. So your TNB series out. TNB got find you already? Uh, yeah. Got find me already. So they brother or they no. They say, good job. Oh. And then we'll contact you in future project. And then that's it. How many you spray already? Six. Six or seven. Uh, yeah. But you plan to 
tapau ah. <laughs> um, yeah, of course. Ideally lah, right? That's yeah. the goal lah to cover all the TNV thing lah. But it's nice though. It's nice. It's a good. I mean, you got a different different sort of cartoon to it. Yeah, because like. before this, everybody walk past TNV also never give a second look. Yeah, I mean, we only yeah. I just want to make it all mo- looks more trendy, more urban. Yeah. So do you think graffiti in Malaysia is more accepted now? Uh, yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah, over the time. So compared to when you just started, today is like a lot more safer already, lah. Yes. Yeah, a lot more safer. A lot of more people. Okay, like when I paint, like some people like all oh, offer water, hundred plus or whatever, mm. drink, food. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, it's that's a really good, good, good one. Yeah, man. Okay, so if I'm a new graffiti artist, okay, how I how have to imagine yeah, new graffiti okay. artist? How okay. how am I gonna? Let's say I I I got my style everything already. I just wanna go out, but how am I gonna go out alone? You mm. got you when you first started, you go out alone. Yeah, I accompany me with a friend. Mm. Yeah. So you should always go with a friend, lah. Yeah, of course. Go with a friend who do it, or who go with a friend who just to teman you only. Go with a friend that um have interest in what you're doing, lah. Mm. Of course, mm. yeah. Okay, so that's the first step, lah. Ah. Uh. So once I put my first hey, Not yet, not yet. Oh, no, you yeah. haven't. Okay, go. <laughs> and then you find this nice wall and then uh. you see if it's a shop loss, you try to ask for permission, the owner, uh. yeah, mm. for the permission. Yeah. Can I paint something? Yeah, for free to beautiful your shop. Mm. And then more people take photo. Yeah. Mm. You get good exposure in your shop. Mm. And then like that. If public spot, then look up like uh, see is the look it attached to private property or whatever mm. and then yeah that's it yeah just be careful so but networking is very important la, yeah of course among the among the graffiti artists la. yeah do you think okay let's say if I want to network it's like I don't know you la, if I want to know more graffiti artists around how how, how is the best way to do it without making mm. feel like because you're famous already ma, right if I come and hit you up on your DM hey bro can I come and hang out with you and go graffiti with you is it's obviously not as easy, la, right? It's not, you know, just gonna say yes, what, correct or not? I can say when, whenever I have, just drop by and chill. Mm. So you're okay, right? Yeah, they help me fill in. Nah, see, so basically, Clockwork is a very nice guy. If you guys want to be a graffiti artist or you guys are trying to be one, you know, if next time he goes out and spray around the town, he will let you fill in this work. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure fill in nicely. Ah, so you, know, see, you can learn a thing or two from Master Club. And I have free sticker for you in return. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some food and drinks. Uh. Um, sometimes got drinks. Uh, sometimes, yeah, okay, uh. last 7 Eleven. Ah, 7 Eleven. Uh. Hey, last if time. There is nearby. <laughs> I, remember, I remember last time you told me one story. Uh. I don't know if I can say it or not. Uh. If cannot, I cut. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So last time you go Family Mart. Mm. Then you spray the family the side of the Family Mart. Uh. Oh, okay. Then, the, <laughs> then the, the, the shop guy come out, ask you, uh, hey, any, you say you say you cannot do one, right? Oh no. Okay, okay, this uh, is a okay, family mat story. Uh, In okay, this is a family mat Bukit Bintang story. Uh, okay. Uh, Buk- wow, Bukit Bintang uh? Yeah. Okay. Just uh right outside of the MRT station. Mm. Um me and Nestor, okay, we see this wall, wow. Big white wall <laughs> at the corner of the se- uh, family mat. Uh, and I was like Wow, we think like hey, we want to do graffiti there, eh? but how to make it more like look like legit, look like a commission job, mm. and then we we'll, won't get into trouble. Okay like, we have to like fake it, like have to do it like a commission type, mm. and then we have to plan like our colorway. Okay lah, like, why not we just use the family mat color like blue, blue white. white, green mm. to fit into our team. Mm. Yeah, and then don't make it sounds like a very Look like a very commercial piece, yeah. yeah. And then okay, and then we go sketch it up together at the mama, <laughs> and then, and then okay lah. Then the the few day later, and then we I I print one A four paper like okay with this sketch, and then I Google this uh this family mart logo lo- like location this. location <laughs> this wall. Okay, then I go to the <laughs> shop and then I I show it. Hey, today we're going to uh. Spray this wall, nah. This is the sketch ready, ready. Uh, your boss asked one. They said, "Okay, okay, I'll like go spray." And then uh, they ask, they they help us to move the motorcycle <laughs> away. Okay, and then we start to spray. And then cannot reach to the top. And then okay lah, I got uh tangle ah. Oh god, 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 no worry. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the fella help you all to the end Yeah. Ah. And then I say, oh yeah, man. 
Then we, we then we also lunch inside lah, of course. Then we, eat free uh? No lah, of oh, course. We, we try to eat free <laughs> like got, we try to get discount. Uh. Free. And then we freak like okay, eh, hey, we eat got free or not? Then they say, hey, no eh. I uh, we all we all come up with a fake fake uh manager name like the people that hire us that uh. oh Jasmine hey we also give good price to Jasmine you know <laughs> for this war for this project and yeah. then and then they, then you ask Jasmine oh, okay okay lah later lah <laughs> <laughs> yeah we spent like two days there yeah oh shit so those days the guy also just whatever already lah yeah we all, since we also do fit the family mm. team and then so it looks very legit lah yeah it looks legit so is this recommended to anyone else for any graffiti artist uh, not recommended, but it's a good way to approach. Yeah, I mean it's much safer than you just randomly spraying some wall, uh. Yeah, of course. But in the end, family mark got contact you or not? No, I no. think I think they still I think they enjoy it. They like it. Yeah, better than a plain wall. Suddenly got one family mark team wall. Some more, if you ask you, if they ask you to do it, you gotta charge more expensive for what? This is a free work man. Yeah. Um. I hope after they listening this, they don't go into the family mark and then cover it white. No la. <laughs> I think I mean, is Japan a very popular graffiti place? Um, no, no, the government very. Oh yeah, empty. very strict, right? Yeah. Very clean, uh. Can't Like think Singapore, yeah. but not as strict as Singapore. Actually, Singapore even worse, eh. Singapore, you can go jail, one, right? Top one, very strict one, yeah. La, yeah. Over there, I don't think any graffiti artist can graffiti without anyway, a permit. Yeah. Yeah. you need a permit, uh. So you never go graffiti in Singapore, yeah, la. Got oh wait only legal place yeah the culture cartel those ah yeah so at least you can say you go there before ma yeah go there spray oh. spray uh, before you know what so so strict country at least you can go what okay but, but everybody know yeah you just paint some legal wall only mm-hmm. yeah in Singapore mm-hmm. because it's top one strict country in the yeah. world so wait so first country you wanna go to after MCO I don't know yet maybe plan Berlin. Berlin, uh. yeah, I nice. hope. But Berlin is dope, lah. But that wall is crazy, man. You want to spare the wall? Is it? I don't know the wall yet. The Berlin Wall, oh, the border that that split uh Germany and where? Huh? <laughs> in in Berlin, lah. Yeah, I know Berlin Wall, the famous Berlin Wall. But la. I don't know. It's a uh, legally. Everybody go spray there and not? spray and stick stuff on, ma. No Uh, I haven't. Oh, at least the yeah. picture of the wall is really like yeah, cow- maybe cow- cow- old, old stuff. Yeah, maybe for old. <laughs> oh yeah. Earlier, okay, right. It's been a good, good session. Thanks for reviving my podcast because the podcast is dead for the whole two months. Really, bro? How to record podcast, bro? Skype, uh, Zoom. Very hard uh, because microphone oh. cha-cha, uh, not not so clean uh. Yeah, but obviously you are the you, you lucky you are you, you're here lah. Yeah, la. beside your neighbor. Yeah, we are neighbors. <laughs> That's why he can come here and shoot. A lot of people I ask don't want to come. Yeah, he come here and borrow equipment also. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I borrow his aircon. He come here borrow my water. So we all oh, yeah. help each other one. We MCO. Uh, yeah, kita jaga kita. Kita jaga kita, kita support kita. <laughs> uh, so thanks for coming, Klop. Uh, thanks so for having me. Any message you want to tell your friends? Um, I know in this moment it's a very hard time, but believe me, everything will be over soon and stay strong. Yeah. For a guy who always go out of the country and out of his house, even he can tahan. So, so can you. So... Yeah, man. You want to plug your Instagram, Twitter, semua. Okay, you can check my work in Instagram, Clockwork, or my website, I am clockwork.com. <laughs> That's it. This two only. Yeah. No, nothing else. Nothing else. Lah. So, yeah. The rest is not important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. So, you got to check him out on Instagram, follow him for all his work. You can see his work literally in most of Cal mm-hmm. and PJ. Yeah, so it's all good. Thanks for coming, Mr. Klop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we go. Oh. Again, Slab is going to release custom T-shirt. T-shirts, spray paint by the man himself, Mr. Clockwork. I obviously asked him to bring one here for me, but, you know, not brother enough. Lah. But You can come go there anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I want to show you all here. Man. Oh. But never mind. Okay, okay. Okay, Photoshop. Yeah, Photoshop. <laughs> the t-shirt is here. Okay, so you guys can purchase it. They will release, uh, they will have a date that they will announce the clothes and they will also put a price on it. As of now, it's around... I don't know. 
hundred each lah, hundred each lah. More or less hundred something lah, right? Usually hundred something. Yeah, lah. make it more accessible. Yeah. So <laughs> 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 yeah. So you want to make it accessible? So it's a uh, one of one. All of them different designs. I'll put up the pictures. You know here. Yep. So you guys, please follow Gains Lab, follow Clockwork, support their work. You know, times are hard. Let's help each other. So thanks for coming in, Clockwork. Yeah. Thank you for supporting independent artists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So even if you guys want, if you guys have an office or anything that you want to get his work on, just hit him up, man. Wow, hard sell away. Hey, bro. <laughs> the, we record so long, ah, uh, my so we hard sell uh. Okay. Thank you. Make sure to buy his book one day if he has an autobiography. Ah. Uh, I have a sticker pack. <laughs> yeah. It's not a book, but it has a sticker pack. So you can also buy a sticker pack and support him any way you can. So anyway, this is all from me. This is Cool Story Bro. And thanks for watching. So I don't know who the next guest will be, but hopefully there's someone that will pop on. Anyway, peace out. Say bye. Peace out and recommend who you want to interview in the comment section below. Yes. Yes, sir. And also he's the first ever graffiti artist on this podcast. <laughs> Alright, peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hey, show me Pinto. I want to buy a car.